Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am up in my parents' house in North Carolina and I have made this little kind of makeshift makeup table on their little bathroom counter here. So I am going to start the first of a new video series. I'm going to try out a few different kinds of foundations. I have had the hardest time trying to find a foundation that looks good on my skin. And they're like, what do you want? Full coverage, light coverage, medium coverage, matte finish, like not matte. I don't even know. Like there's so many options and I'm like, ah, I don't know. I just want my skin to look good. I've got a variety of foundations now and I'm going to try them out here in the real world and let you guys come along and see what you think and maybe I will find the perfect foundation for me which is the goal of this whole thing. Today I am going to be trying the Kat Von D Locket foundation. They gave me a little sample. Some foundations that I'm going to be trying I have the actual bottle that I bought and we're going to give that a try. Um, in this case the Kat Von D I have a sample from Sephora and it is the Kat Von D Locket Foundation in light 46, it looks like L or CW1. I'm not sure what exactly that says, but that is what we are going to be testing out today on my skin. I'm going to do my face here on camera and then we are going to check in a little bit later on and see how it's looking midday outdoors in natural light. And then I will check back in with you guys at the end of the day and we will see how it held up. So let's go ahead and get started on my makeup. For the purposes of this video, I'm not gonna use any primers or any um, concealer or anything like that. It's just going to be the foundation on my skin. A lot of these foundations, it is recommended to use a primer or a concealer or other things in addition to it. I am not going to use any of that because I want to see how this foundation holds up in comparison to the other foundations. I don't want there to be any question of, well, I used it with a primer or I used it with this concealer or that product or whatever. I just want to see the foundation itself by itself and we're going to see how it goes on, how it holds up throughout the day without any other products used in conjunction with the foundation. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm just going to do a quick moisturizer using my Peter Thomas Roth water drench hyaluronic acid moisturizer. One of the things that they said about the Kat Von D Locket Foundation is it is a matte finish and you want to make sure that your skin is really well hydrated. It is recommended to use the Kat Von D Elixir with this product because it will hydrate your skin really well prior to applying the foundation so that the matte finish looks good. It feels so smooth and silky and hydrated after using this. I've been using this moisturizer. You can see it's starting to get a little low. I've been using it for a couple weeks now and I love it. My skin just feels really, really good. And I am just going to do a quick spritz of the Too Faced Hangover RX 3-in-1 Primer and Setting Spray. Just a light spritz of that to keep my skin hydrated and let's go ahead and apply the foundation. I'm a little bit nervous. I've never used a full coverage foundation. I don't know if I'm gonna like this, if I'm gonna wanna go out in public looking like this, but I'm sure it's gonna be fine. Let's go ahead and put it on. I'm just going to dab this on with my finger here, here, here. Feels like really thick. This is like a very thick, creamy, foundation. And I'm not 100% certain that this is a good match for my skin. It, the girl did try to match it to my skin, but we didn't actually try it on in the store. So we will be finding out right now. And I'm just going to use my optical blending brush because I like using a brush for my foundation. My first impression, guys, is it smells like paint. I feel like I am painting right now it smells like like that acrylic paint that you get in the little bottles at michael's the craft store all right this is going on like really really um thick guys i feel like i just put paint on my face like it really smells like paint let me make sure 
Yeah, it, it smells like paint, like the little things of paint that come in the little things like this. That's what it, sm it smells like. It does not have a fragrant scent to it. I just want you guys to be able to see. How this foundation is looking in my nose area. It does have like a nice matte finish to it. Dried very quickly. Sorry, I know I have a spot here. Overall, it doesn't look awful. I know the lighting isn't the best in here. Let's go ahead and finish my face and then we will head outside and see how it looks in there. Actually, like as it's drying, I'm really liking this foundation. I like the way that it looks. I like the way that it's sitting on my skin. It went on really nice with the brush. And let's go ahead and do the rest of my face. I'm gonna put that away because there's actually a lot in that little sample. I could probably use this foundation three or four days in a row with what they gave me from the sample. So I can really get a feel of if I like it. I recommend doing that when you're looking for a product because I really struggled. I was going into all of these different Sephora's and I was asking like every person, I'm like, recommend a foundation. And they're like, well, it depends on what you want. And then they have like their standard, like, do you want light, medium? Full coverage, are you going to? Hello? No. It's my daughter. Gosh, I feel like I just need to open these up so I can stick my knees in there. Ah, look at that. I can like roll my knees right under the sink and it's very convenient. Okay, so I am like super loving this foundation as I'm looking at it now in the mirror. It looks really, really good on my skin. I'm very happy with this. I'll be interested to see how it settles into my fine lines and things. So I'm just going to do my like everyday beauty routine. This is mostly from the original Naked Palette by Urban Decay and uh, it's almost empty guys. It's time for a new one, but I am down to using these three shades because I like them and they're very wintry. Um, I'm going to be using the Half Baked and the, whatever that says, Smog. I use Half Baked, Smog, and Dark Horse. I really like this foundation and I've wanted to try it for a long time and people always like steer me away from it. I ask about it and they're like, oh yeah, that's a really heavy full coverage foundation, blah, blah, blah. Um, try this one instead and they... Um, get me to try something else and I, w I wish I had tried this a long time ago I probably would have found the foundation I love because I'm super happy with it right now like look at this guys it looks so good on my skin I think I think it looks good on my skin what do you think tell me down below because maybe I'm crazy and I'm just whatever anyway I am really loving this Kat Von D pocket foundation on my skin already I can tell that I'm gonna be really happy with it um and it's Kat Von D's Locket Foundation. It has really high reviews. It's really popular. I've seen like tons of other makeup tutorial YouTubers using it and I'm always like, well, I want to try it. And then I, like I said, I always get like navigated back towards something else and I've never tried it. So now I'm really glad that I have. I like it a lot so far. Let's just finish up my eyes here and then we're going to head out for the day. Alright, so... I am not going to use eyeliner today. I am just going to use a heavy coat of mascara. I love this really, really pretty mascara from Lancome. It is Monsoor Big from Lancome and it is great. This is the mascara I've been using for about a month now. I'm really happy with it. It makes my lashes look so thick and full and I genuinely don't feel feel like I need an eyeliner. I feel like it actually makes my eyes look a little bit smaller and darker when I have an eyeliner on. So maybe I'm crazy, but that's just me. I like to keep my, look at the difference. Do you see that? Can everybody see that? It's crazy. All right, so my foundation is on. 
my eyes are done. I'm just gonna go with a light gloss today. This is the Christian Dior Ultra Dior Addict Ultra Gloss in the shade Ultra Dior. Really, really pretty. Never wants to focus. Um, it's really, it's really a pretty gloss. I love this stuff. It's nice and slick. Not sticky, not oily. Perfect. It's just like a perfect lip gloss. <sighs> All right, you guys. Give me one last look at the foundation here. You can see like, my fine lines up here. They pretty much always look like that. And I have the lines here around my lips. My smile lines. And it's settling in really nicely. It doesn't look bad like in the nose area, you know, where like you get like these creases. Um, here I have small lines too that things settle into. So it'll be interesting to see how this foundation holds up. Alright guys, I think that's it. I am going to head out for the day and I will check in with you in a little bit and we will see how it's doing. Alright, talk soon. Bye. Alright you guys, I am out at the mall and I am going to go shopping and I just wanted to do a quick check in on my foundation, let you guys see how it looks. Can you see um, how it's settled into the skin? I think it's settled in really nicely. If you guys can see all of the cracks and crevices on my skin. I'm really happy with it so far. I am in the mall and I've got this like mall makeup store lighting going on so I thought this would be a good opportunity to do a quick check-in on my foundation. I did get something in my eye just a minute ago so it might be a little bit red. Ignore that. And there's fuzz like all over me. I can feel it on my face. Well, here's a check-in on the foundation. How it's doing. What time is it? That's it? It's 2 or 3. So I've been wearing this foundation for about 2 hours. You can see, it's still looking pretty good. I'm over at the Cheesecake Factory with my daughter. Say hi! And I am just doing a quick check-in with my foundation. Let you guys see how it looks so far. I think it looks pretty good. We are in a little bit of darker lighting, but it's held up nicely so far. What time is it? It is 3.30 p.m., so we are three hours into my day. It's on. I don't know how to turn them off. There they go. All right, you guys. So I am getting ready to leave the mall. My eyebrows look like a flipping mess. I really need to do some work on those so bad. All right, everyone. So I am getting ready to leave the mall and I wanted to do one last check-in with you before I head home to go have drinks with my mother. I'll let you see how the makeup is holding up. This is the Kat Von D Locket Foundation. I mean, it's still there. It has definitely not lasted all day. I've only been wearing it. It's like five, five o'clock right now. So I've been wearing it just over five hours. Like I put it on around noon. Um, it's, it's still there. My skin still looks good. definitely worn off a lot and I haven't done like a lot of rubbing my face or anything so I don't know like why but overall it's okay it's not bad I'm not loving it as much right now as I was when I first put it on I will say that so and really quick, I just want to show you this beautiful sunset that I am looking out at right now over the mall and the sea of cars out there. Ah, you came and see through all the crap on my head. Look how pretty that is. Hey guys, it's 
it's time for another check-in. It is 8 p.m. So I have been wearing my Kat Von D foundation for about eight. <laughs> for about. Oh, I was in the camera. Oh, maybe. <laughs> It's all good. I'm like, I love it. I love it. I'll anyway, I have been wearing my Kat Von D foundation for about eight to nine hours now, and I was just gonna do a quick check-in so that you can see how it looks. I feel like it's really worn off around my nose. You can see that it's settled into the pores. I know you can't see it, but it's pretty, it's pretty much good. <laughs> oh, I'm here at Chili's with my mom. Say hi, mom. I'm back. <laughs> We're gonna have ice cream again, too. It's Christmas. It's Christmas, everybody. <laughs> All right, so. Anyway, my, my, so far it's been about just done just over eight hours and I think I still look good I think it looks okay but it's definitely worn off in certain areas so it's not lasting the 24 hours like they say we will check back in in a little bit um, for the end of the night and see how it looks at that point say bye mom bye bye <laughs> all right you guys I am back home it is it is nine nine o'clock and I just wanted to let you guys see how this foundation held up throughout the day. As you can see, like my eyeshadow is still fairly intact. Not looking too bad. But my foundation is more or less gone. Like if you look here, I, don't, see, I just don't know how well you'll be able to see, but I can see in the mirror that there's like, it's very powdery. I'm very splotchy, like it's gone around here, definitely gone around this side of my nose. I can see like a little bit that's settled into my pores. Um, yeah, there's definitely like some remnants of it on the surface of my skin, but for the most part, it's just not holding up the, it's supposed to hold up 24 hours, you guys, and I put it on at 12, and it's only been nine hours, and it's definitely, I mean, it's it's there, and I look better than I would without it, but it's definitely not just as good as it should be. It's definitely not, like, looking like nine hours into a 24 hour product. You know, it's definitely like 24 hours from now, I would not expect to see any foundation on my skin given what I'm seeing right now. So that is the nine o'clock update. I'm probably gonna do one more right before bed. Probably won't look much different than it does right now at this point. This is, this is, it's mostly worn off at this point. So yeah, long lasting, I would say not. Although it was really pretty going on. So let's wait till 11 and I will do my final review on this product. I am checking in for my last check-in for the day. It is 12.20 p.m. In case you're wondering. 12.20 p.m. Yes, those are the Supreme Court Justices of the United States on my home screen. I wore the Kat Von D Locket Foundation for just over 12 hours. It's supposed to be 24 hour wear. It definitely is not. I think you can look at my face and see that my skin doesn't look horrible, but the foundation has definitely worn down throughout the day. Let me see if I can get closer for you. Definitely like around the nose area. And I mean, it's just gone. There's like no foundation here. You can see like some, if you look like really, really close into my pores, I don't know how close you can see, but um, yeah, my pores definitely have some foundation that's settled into them. I think it has more or less worn off throughout the day. Did not last 24 hours, that's for sure. Now, I did not use a primer or concealer. I used just one pump, I guess maybe like one or two pumps of this Too Faced Hangover RX 3-in-1 replenishing primer and setting spray. It's like water and coconut water and a couple of little things just for like refreshing, hydrating, and because this is a matte foundation, I really wanted to make sure my skin was good and hydrated so that 
it looked the best that it could and so I did use a couple pumps of that but other than that there is nothing else combined with the foundation on my face so that was the experience that I had with that so as you can see um, from the video I was out all day I went to the mall this morning me and my daughter went shopping we were trying on clothes we went to lunch I came home and then I went out with my mom and we went to the bar it wasn't like a wild and crazy night it was like a quiet kind of bar but um, we were out and about I was inside I was outside I was running errands I was in the car so I did do a lot of things today and I just don't think this Kat Von D held up very well so I'm excited to see how it compares to the other foundations that I'm going to be testing in this series and Stay tuned because tomorrow I am doing the next one. It is going to be the Tarte Amazonian Clay. I have a sample of that that I'm going to try and I'm really excited because it looked fantastic in the store. I was looking at their primers and their concealers and their foundations and they all looked really, really good. So I'm excited to see how that one works in comparison to this Kat Von D one. It may not be the next video that I post. I do have some other videos coming out, um, some shopping ones, some food ones. So keep your eye out for those. And this will be the next video posted in this series. Um, should probably be out within a week or so. So thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Bye. My hair's doing funny things. It's like really coming down. Okay. I didn't even put on lipstick. Yeah. Wanna say hi to the people? Say hi people. Hi. I was gonna go cuddle with you and say goodnight, but you're vlogging. I'm done. <laughs> Good night guys. <laughs>